climbing. It is a basic human move. Rocks and mountains have always been a huge challenge for a man to look from the high places and to get higher. Climbing is a physically and mentally challenging sport that tests strength, endurance, and balance of the climber along with mental control. It can be a dangerous activity where the knowledge of the correct climbing techniques and the use of specialized equipment are crucial for the safe ascents and descents. When talking about climbing as a sport, from a historical point of view, we speak first of mountaineering, because the first goal was to climb the peaks in the mountains. Since time out of mind, people were going to the mountains. They were grazing the cattle, they were looking for new trade routes, and later, they were discovering for the pleasure of the charm of the nature. Hiking, or outdoor walking, is the easiest way for a human being to get into the wild nature. This sport activity is very healthy and has different levels of difficulty. From the short walking in easy terrain to tracking that is alone hiking in the mountains and areas where there are no means of transport available for the most part. It can take more days, usually on unpaved paths in the challenging environment in the mountains. Today, it belongs to an individual discipline with its own development of the materials and the equipment. Ski touring is skiing in the back country. It is similar to cross country skiing. Typical hike is done off piste and outside of ski resorts and may extend over a period of more than one day. While hiking, the skier heels is free to allow a natural gliding motion in the terrain, which may range from flat to steep. Ski touring requires independent navigation skills and may involve route finding for potential avalanche terrain. Ski mountaineering is a form of ski touring that involves climbing mountains either on skis or carrying them, depending on the steepness of the ascent and then descending on skis. Indoor climbing Nowadays, we can meet with climbing on an artificial wall with grips for hands and feet, usually used for indoor climbing, but sometimes located outdoors. Indoor climbing is a popular sport. It is perfect for family climbing with children and a good alternative in areas with rainy climates where climbing outdoor is sometimes difficult. Besides of this fact, climbers find out that they can get to the gym after work and still enjoy climbing even though it is dark outside. Indoor and outdoor climbing can differ in techniques, style and equipment. Climbing artificial walls, especially indoors, is much safer because anchor points and holds can be more firmly fixed. Bouldering Bouldering is one of the youngest and very popular climbing discipline. It is a form of rock climbing that is performed on small rock formations or artificial rock walls, known as boulders. Bouldering is without the use of ropes or harnesses, where for protection we use spotten persons and thick foam mattresses called crush pads. Bouldering problems rarely go higher than 3 or 4 meters above the ground, consistent of a short sequences of moves that require a huge amount of strength on the forearms and fingers, and different special techniques. Style is important, but what really counts is to reach the last hole, the top of the boulder. Via Ferrater, or Klatersteig, 
as it's known in Europe, is interesting and popular outdoor sport associated with hiking and climbing. The first routers were built around the year 1850. Many of them are old military routes in the mountains. Modern via router is a steel cable which runs along the route and is periodically fixed to the rock. Using a via ferrata kit, climbers secure themselves to the cable and thus allow otherwise dangerous routes to be undertaken without the risks associated with unprotected scrambling and climbing or the need for climbing equipment, such as ropes. For other climbing activities, such as sports climbing, mountaineering, ice climbing or dry tooling, please enroll to the mountain school and use a service of experienced instructors. Climbing can be a dangerous sport and leads to serious injury or even death if not done properly. For this reason, climbing and mountaineering education is very important. Mountaineering schools are the best education for climbers. Schools cover basic climbing training, summer and winter mountaineering courses, as well as education of instructors for all climbing disciplines. Climbers will learn in mountaineering schools how to properly use climbing gear, basics of security, different climbing techniques, rescue, and first aid. Mountaineering schools is for everybody, for children, beginners, advanced climbers, and of course, for third age generation. The risk of climbing have not to be only related to climbing experience. Many times, it is dangerous due to loose rocks and conditions of their original old protection. In order to eliminate the risk of danger in climbing areas, national climbing organizations designate rangers responsible for managing areas. Ranger of climbing area is a volunteer, member of local climbing club, generally recognized well-known climber, who coordinates all bolting activities in the area. Rangers check old protections, exchange them with permanent stainless steel bolts and anchors, they are building better access path to climbing areas and removing loose rocks. This is a great benefit for climbers provided by local clubs and national climbing organizations. Rock climbing is a very popular sport all around the world. It is physically and mentally demanding sport one that often tests climbers' strength, endurance, and balance along with mental control. Rock climbing is an activity in which participants climb up natural rock formations. There are a lot of types of rocks, like granite, sandstone, limestone, and conglomerate. The goal is to climb the route to the end in the best possible style. Climbing communities in many countries have developed their own subjective grading systems for the route. The most popular is International UIAA Open Grade System. There are three main styles of rock climbing. On-site, Flash, and Red Point. The hardest route in the present time, graded 12, was climbed by famous Czech climber Adam Andre. The Big Wall Climbing is a specific climbing discipline. This is a type of rock climbing where the climbers ascend a long multi-pitch route from 100 up to more than 1000 meters high, sometimes requiring more than a day to complete the climb, and often in remote areas. For this discipline, specific techniques and tactics were developed in order to stay many days on the wall. The big wall life requires specific needs, like holding bags, evoking and handing tans, port ledgers, or jumpers. Big wall climbers have to be experienced and very well prepared for a long stay on the wall.
Climbing originated from ascents to the summits in the Middle Mountains. The first major climb was in 1862, when mountaineers reached the highest peak in the Alps, Mont Blanc, 4,808 meters high. Climbing Middle Mountains, known as mountaineering, is an activity in which mountaineers climb in mountain ranges with peaks up to 6,000 meters high. Climbing terrain is very diverse, from rock to ice, snow or glacier. In present times, the goal of mountaineering is not only to reach the top of the mountain, but to climb first ascents and hard existing routes in the walls too. This activity combines several climbing disciplines, such as ski mountaineering, rock climbing, big wall climbing, or ice climbing. Ice climbing is a beautiful winter activity of ascending ice formations, such as ice falls, frozen waterfalls, and rock slabs covered with ice. Frozen waterfalls are accessible only for a few months of the year, and sometimes climbers have to wait for proper conditions for many days. Climbers have to use special boots with crampons, two ice axes, and ice screws for protection. Mixed climbing is a combination of ice climbing and rock climbing using ice climbing equipment. Dry tooling involves climbing rocks with ice axes and either crampons or rock shoes. It has its origins in ice climbing, mixed climbing and rock climbing with permanent protections and anchors. Mountain climbers, as well as highly experienced mountaineering tourists, can climb in the highest mountains, in mountain ranges with peaks from 6,000 meters to the highest peaks of the Himalayas. Climbing is not very different from the middle mountains. The most important factor is the high altitude in which mountaineers must resist much tougher conditions with less oxygen. There are two main styles expedition style and alpine style. Alpine style refers to climbing in a self-sufficient manner with less equipment, no fixed ropes, no high altitude porters and no use of supplemental oxygen. It is opposed to expedition style with fixed ropes, camps and a lot of equipment. Climbing is really a great sport. It has a lot of disciplines. Most of them are practiced in the nature, whether it is rock, ice, or snow. Climbing is an all-season sport for all age categories with different level of sport performance. Starting from recreational, through the top level outdoor climbing on crags or in the mountains, and to indoor sport climbing, that is one of the Olympics game sport. From the point of view of safe practice of climbing, the role of organized climbing at the level of clubs and national climbing federations is very important. Sharing the experience of teaching people how to climb is crucial in making the sport safer. 